The incredible publicity of 5G in recent years is starting to find a home in industry as well. But maybe not in the way that you've been led to believe. I'm Roland Plett, and in this tech short, I'll give you a quick description of what 5G is, and why you should care, and where our customers are finding it most useful. Very simply, 5G is the next generation of 4G, or LTE. Promises of unbelievable bandwidth capabilities and near zero latency, they still need to follow the laws of physics. And these capabilities require licensed spectrum that's not publicly available in most parts of the world. So why is 5G important to industry solutions? And where will it show value in business? Before I get into that, I just want to mention that this video is brought to you by the Industry Solutions Group at Cisco. Dun, dun, dun. First of all, the high bandwidth and low latency capability of 5G will only be available in the 10 gigahertz to 100 gigahertz frequencies. These radio waves will travel shorter distances than today's wireless and will be more dramatically attenuated by objects that are between the transmitter and receiver. In spite of these limitations, there are manufacturing and logistics automation use cases where the high speed and low latency capability will be important. But for mining and energy use cases, the game changer is a different part of 5G. Now the second major change in 5G is the microservice architecture. The previous generation of 4G or LTE was deployed using large, complex, and integrated systems. 5G, on the other hand, has structured its system into smaller elements so that they can be scaled down more easily. It allows for much more flexibility in who manages each part and where the software is installed. Components and management can be split between the cloud, regional data centers, edge computing, and even the radio on the pole. By the way, these capabilities can be deployed in today's LTE spectrum bands as well. I think 5G is particularly important for multiple industry sites that need to operate autonomously, each of them with their own operational capabilities. But they want central policy integration into the enterprise network. These sites could include mining or oil field sites, autonomous operation at each site, but central policies, consistent integration into the enterprise network. In Cisco's 5G as a service model, we leverage this mod modularity for our customer's benefit. The service manages many of these administrative and policy aspects in the cloud so that they can be centrally managed by security and enterprise personnel. Now the other end of the service puts operational elements of the site in the hands of the site operator. Radio components can be replaced by on-site personnel without service expertise. And when network interruptions occur, the on-site operations can continue independent of the cloud service for extended periods of time. When you need a scalable and distributed model with LTE endpoints, Cisco's 5G as a service is already moving in that direction with you. For more information, you can reference Cisco's private 5G page at cisco.com slash go slash private 5G. Now, I recognize that industrial sites always need multiple wireless technologies to serve the wide range of wireless needs. And because of that, look for other tech short videos like this one to cover off Wi-Fi, Mesh, LoRaWAN, and many other technologies. You can find them on cisco.com or on my YouTube channel. Take care.